Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Okay, so that was like the most fake that little intro thing has ever sounded. Um, so I have decided that for this video I'm just going to talk about some random things that just really grind my gears and make me very angry um and they are story times um things that happen to me that I'm still salty about and yeah they're just things that whenever they get brought up I just end up going on a rant for like 15 minutes and I'm like maybe I should record that because it's kind of kind of comical and kind of sad and I get very animated so yes strap in so this is something that I don't really talk about on social media and I've never even posted about it very much I don't think on my finsta but um I do go to the gym we'll say an average of five days a week sometimes it's four sometimes it's six I don't think it's ever been seven um but we'll say an average of five days a week okay um so a couple weeks ago I really didn't have any motivation to go on this particular day it was a Wednesday and the previous two days really hit me like a truck and I had a lot of exams going on and it was just not a good time in my life. So I just, I didn't want to go to the gym at all, but I was like, you know what, Chloe, you're going to feel bad about yourself. If you don't, you're going to feel guilty. So just go and get it over with, you know, just do it. And this, I was doing a plank and just your standard plank, nothing fancy, um, for a minute, which used to be a huge struggle for me but i'm proud to say that it's slightly less difficult for me to do now so go me pat on the back but um yeah i was when i got out of the plank um this girl it was only me and this girl in the room she goes hi um i just wanted to let you know um, that your form is really, really off on the plank and, um, your butt is way too high up in the air when you're in the plank and, um, you might be targeting your upper abs, but you're missing all of this. And she gestures to like her lower stomach. She's like, you're missing all of this. And I was like, oh, okay. And I wasn't, you know, I definitely wasn't like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Like, I appreciate you telling me. I wasn't like that at all. I was literally just like, okay. <sighs> when you are at the gym, the number one rule in my mind is to mind your own business. It takes a lot for people to muster the courage to go to the gym, especially if you are not in shape, and put yourself out there when there's fucking Olympic bodybuilders all around you and Instagram skinny tea model girls all over the place and you are just trying to work with what you got. I just, how could something whatever I was doing in the plank be bothering her that bad that she had to take time from her workout and go talk to me and correct me and try to put me in my place when I was already in my place I was happy in my place I was happy with my bad form plank it just it doesn't have any effect on you whatsoever what I am doing in my workout space oh and if you're one of those people <laughs> If you are one of those people who are watching this and thinking I see nothing wrong with what that girl did she was just trying to help there's no point in going to the gym if you're just gonna be doing it wrong and doing it wrong day after day and no one correcting you well see there's where you are wrong personally speaking I just could never in a million years, I don't particularly enjoy talking to strangers um, 
more than just a thank you for holding the door open for me. So I worked at this job for about 13 or 14 months, yeah, 13 months. And um, I left on good terms. The only reason I left was just um, because I had to go to college. There was this one man and I would be very interested to know if he still goes, to, if he still goes there. I don't know but um he was a man i would say he was probably about probably between 40 and 50. um he we or at least i called him creepy sweatpants guy um because he would wear this particular pair of sweatpants um he would pull them up very high he would get a rotation of the same like three things and they were very strange like it's definitely what you would order off the menu if you have no real intention to eat there you just want to sit down and I guess look at the waitresses um yeah he would order a side order of euro meat which costed like three dollars and i waited on him one time where he ordered a cheeseburger and i think that might be the most expensive item that he has bought there i'm just like how was everything and because i'm required to ask that i don't actually care especially not for him um and he was like oh good good great and i'm just like and I'm just trying to get his change and I'm looking down and he just like scoops his head to like meet my eye level all up in my personal space and he's like just smile you look so much prettier if you just smiled I mean there's nothing not to smile about Get away from me. If you would rather have me smile, because you think I look better when I smile, well, maybe has it ever occurred to you that um, all the billions of cells in my body um, and, you know, the blood pumping in my veins and all that uh, does serve a purpose other than to be attracted to you. Every time the face